As the real taste of fall approaches, a lot of us are anticipating the sights that come with fall, and most of all, that means that fall foliage. News 11 meteorologist Haley Fitzpatrick has details on how the weather can impact the changing colors on those leaves. The bi-state area offers the best scenery during the autumn season. The leaves change colors, and they do it, of course, when the weather changes its seasons. Temperatures this time of year drop and days become shorter, which has an effect on the changing colors of leaves. Daria McKelvey at the Missouri Botanical Gardens tells us how trees begin changing colors before the season even starts. Basically, to really get a good fall color, we need um, bright sunny days and cool nights and, of course, good soil moisture, and that will start to increase the coloration of some of our fall color species. Experts at the Botanical Gardens tell us the drought this summer has influenced the fall foliage this year. It does vary year to year when plants start actually changing in terms of fall color. So right now, because it is so dry, we're actually seeing a lot change a little bit faster than I would say we normally would. The process of color changes starts with chlorophyll. It's a substance that turns light from the sun into sugar, which makes a leaf look green. It stops its normal production due to the less amount of sunlight trees receive in the fall and winter. And the lack of sunlight breaks down the process of chlorophyll in plants and trees, which is why trees go from a green color to an orange or red color in the fall. Not only do trees change colors, but some of the plants at the Missouri Botanical Gardens do as well. One of my favorites are all of our ornamental grasses. So we have a pink muley grass that is actually starting to turn really pink. And later on, a couple weeks, it'll be like a bubble gum color. But the best trees to view during this time of year? Black gums, uh, Nissa sylvatica, that is actually one of our native species. And now the fall color doesn't last long, but you get varieties of color, like very deep red, beautiful color. And then some even have a little bit of an orangish yellow tone to them too. It varies by tree, interestingly. At the Missouri Botanical Garden, I'm meteorologist Haley Fitzpatrick, News 11.